Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we are going to check out the Eero Pro 6 tri-band mesh Wi-Fi system from Amazon. This is a very expensive system overall compared to the competition at $600 for the triple pack or you can get one single one for $229. All three of them will cover up to 6,000 square feet. It can do up to a gigabit and it does have Wi-Fi 6 built in for your newest devices. We're going to unbox this really quick and then I will show you how to set it up. I'll compare some speeds with some other routers I've, I've had in the past and I'll let you know ultimately if I recommend this or not or if you should just go ahead and stick with something like the Google or Nest Wi-Fi for about half the price. So let's just go ahead and rip into it real quick. There we have the three pack. There you go, they are quite small. I like the size of them, they got a nice weight to them. Feels like a good build quality. Does have one port on the back for your ethernet. So if you have this up say in your kid's room, they're still gonna be able to wire their computer or laptop with the system. So as you can see, three identical units. Yeah, they definitely got some weight to them. Let me get those out of the box. You got the quick start guide, Euro Secure, and just the, simply the warranty. Then of course you have the power bricks underneath that. Get those out and get those ready. So you get the three power bricks, and of course an ethernet cable to get you started. I'd say close to about a three foot ethernet cable. All right, let me get everything set up real quick for this test. I'll show you how to get this guy going, and then I'll show you some speeds from around my house. Like I said, I'll compare it to some of the other systems I've had in the past. And if I recommend a $600 Wi-Fi system, so very pricey, it's a good two to three times the price of what you can typically find out there. Like All right, time to set up the Euro 6. Tells you what you need here, which is, of course, the gateway, power cord, ethernet cable, and then the original modem from, like, your fiber or DSL. Start. First, unplug your old modem. I already did that just prior to recording this. Connect the gateway to your modem with the ethernet cable, which I have already up here next to me. Okay, I've got that plugged in. And then of course the power cord as well. Allow Bluetooth access. Now it's looking for the router. All right, now it has been found. So I'm gonna set this one up in my office. All right, it's up and running, that's great. Ready to set up another one, of course, because now we have three of them. Okay, I'm going to go plug it in in the other room. All right, this one up here is in pairing mode. And it has been found. Just going to call this one a bedroom. You placed it in a really good location. Well, thank you. I'm going to go ahead and do one more. I'm gonna plug this one downstairs. The third one plugged in, give it a couple of minutes and it should connect with no issue. A okay, basement, setting it up. And that is gonna be all three, nice, quick and easy. Now we're gonna finish up the setup. As you saw there, that was incredibly easy to set up. Let me uh, test some speeds on my computer and I'll then I'll do some speed tests on my phone as well and I will show you guys those. All right guys, gonna run the speed test out of my garage. 
as you see on the screen here, this is what I did with my previous Wi-Fi mesh system that I just recorded. That was the Tautronics, and I got 233 and 44 in the same exact spot. The routers are in the same exact spot as well, so let's see if there's a big difference between these two. So remember, 233 and 44. Once again, this is out in my garage. Oh yeah, much better. I'd have to say much, much better this system than the Tautronics, but of course this one is much more expensive and it's just much better overall quality. And once again, that was in my garage. I'm gonna move upstairs to a couple spots that were a little iffy on connection and I wanna compare those with what I've had in the past as well. So let's go upstairs and try those out. All right, now I'm in my master bathroom. The previous one was the 397 and 384. Let's see if this beats that. Nice. There we go, as you can see, much better speeds with this Euro 6 compared to the much cheaper Tautronics. That one was also a triple mesh system. It's got a one more room and we'll compare those as well. All right, now this room is probably the furthest away from all the routers. The last test got 302 and 200 up. Let's compare them. Oh yeah, night and day difference, much, much better routers, as to be expected. The other ones worked pretty good, but this pretty much blows them out of the water. So pretty darn happy with those results.